All right, today's lesson is lesson 134, recording information on a graph. And today we're going to use a set of double six dominoes to do an experiment. Okay, so I have all of these dominoes and on each domino, there are two halves and there are zero to six dots on each half. Okay, so for my first domino, I would write, if I wanted to add up all the dots together to see how many I would have, I would end up with zero plus five dots equals five dots. For my, so my first domino only has five dots on it. Okay, what about the second one? Second one, we have three plus four dots so I have a total of seven dots on my second domino, okay? The third domino has two dots plus six dots, which equals eight dots total. Okay. We have on this one, one dot plus one dot equals two dots. So as you can see, there are multiple ways to make different numbers. On the second one, we have two plus five equals seven. Well, I already have a seven here, so this is another way to make seven, okay? And if we look at all these dominoes, these are all the different ways that we can make numbers using the dominoes, okay? So there's only one, and then this one is five, and that this one has four, this one has four dominoes as well, this one has eight, this one has nine, 10, etc. okay? So if I wanted to take and graph all the ways we can have the numbers zero through 12 on my dominoes, well, the only way I can have zero, dom zero dots on my dominoes is that both halves have zero. If I wanna have one dot on my domino, that means that one of the sides has to have one dot. Okay, it doesn't matter which half, but one of them does. Okay, if I want two dots, I could have zero on one half and two on the other, or one dot on each side. If I want to have three dots, I can have zero dots on one side and three on the other, or I can have one dot on one side and two on the other. And that continues all the way through. Now, once we get to six, if we look, six has the most ways to have dots on my domino. There are four different ways. I can have zero dots and six dots. I can have one and five, two and four, or three and three. After that, there's fewer ways to have the other numbers. Seven only has three ways to make seven. Eight has three different ways we can make eight. Nine, there's only two ways to make it. 10, only two. And 11 and 12, there's only one way to make those dots because you can only have a total of six dots on each half. Okay. All right, that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.